Hey guys, Saw Simon here, and today I am talking to you about Predator Hunting Grounds and some important game mechanics you need to know to make yourself the ultimate hunter. Everything I'm going to talk about will help you with gameplay as the Predator or as the Fire Team, so listen up. If you find what I say worthy, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Here we go. Killing Boars. This is important for the Predator because it allows him to regain a small amount of health without using one of his health kits. As a Predator, if you see a boar, kill it. They are randomly spaced on the map and hard to find in general. However, by killing it you will mark it on your mini-map so you can find it with ease and come back to it later to feed on. Likewise, as the fire team do not kill the boars because doing so marks them for the predator to find on his map. Best to leave them alone because as I said they are hard to find overall and no reason to give the predator an easy meal unless you are planning on laying a trap. Predator can destroy fire team resources. This is simple enough, you just walk up on an ammo crate or health kit when you see them in camp and hit the corresponding button to destroy them so the fire team cannot use them. Doing this will help cut down on their ability to gain easy ammo and health kits and apply extra pressure on teams that don't use the perks that allow you to throw down ammo and health bags for the team. Can charge up the shoulder cannon. I do not know if everyone knows this yet, but you need to. You can charge up the shoulder cannon for an immensely powerful shot. It is best to start charging it up behind cover because it takes a couple seconds and it keeps the team from seeing the targeting laser which could give you away and cause them to shoot at you. Once you do get close to firing, move out of cover and try to line up your shot as best you can. A fully charged shot from the cannon can drop a fire team member. It will not kill them, but a second shot from the cannon will. I just want to add to this that this is your main weapon, folks. This is the weapon you really want to learn how to use because it will provide you with a lot of different options and opportunities during gameplay which you can follow up with with other weapons. Smart Disc Double Hit I learned this completely by accident because the Smart Disc double backed after time ran out while using it. You can throw the Smart Disc and control it for a short amount of time or cancel it out while using it if you need to. When you control the disc however it leaves you open and vulnerable as the Predator so make sure you are hiding somewhere good when using it. The thing you want to know about this weapon is that if you hit a player with it you can cancel out of the weapon right after hitting said player causing the disc to fly back to you hitting the player a second time. I didn't get a lot of time trying this out so I'm not sure if it's lying a site that matters with the disc or the disc returns in the same path that it follows but it's a useful trick to know and something that you should figure out for yourself. Use the gorillas to your advantage. A great tactic to use to make hunting the player easier is to expose yourself to the gorillas, that's what she said. Drop down in the camp and show yourself to them so they can sound the alarm and cause a shitstorm for the players to deal with. This will make singling out players easier or give you more chances to use the cannon to shoot down a couple from a distance. Destroying alarm towers is the fire team. Likewise, as the fire team, once you are in camps, you can disable the alarm towers once you find them, or if they are making noise, you can run up to them and turn them off. You want to turn these off as soon as possible because more soldiers will continue to come, that's what she said. Watch minimap. As both classes, you want to watch the minimap for different reasons. We talked about the pigs for the predator, but as the fire team, you can see the ammo crates, health packs, and weapon crates on the minimap. They show off as a kind of orange little marker area. Mark crates is the fire team. Once you do find these crates, you can also mark them for your teammates so they know where they are in the game in case they are running low or need a new weapon in general. This function works the same as spotting the predator and marking them. Dropped Ammo and Med Packs these items that you can take as perks can be dropped by teammates and yourself. What you need to know is that you can use these items multiple times if you need to. You can even use them as the player that drops them if you need to. Just try not to only use them for yourself because teamwork is extremely important for gameplay. Self-Destruction Game if you manage to down the Predator and he gets his bomb off, you can run up to him and interact with his wrist computer. Once you do, you have to play a little mini game where you match the symbols going off with a pad. It's pretty much a quick time event where you need to match the symbol at the right time. You do that four times and you can turn the bomb off and save the body and the match for more experience. Mud up. To cover yourself in mud and block your heat from the Predator, all you have to do is look down at the ground and hold the corresponding button to do so. It takes a few seconds to do, but it will block your heat signature from the Predator for about 30 seconds unless you go in water, in which case it will wash off faster. Camouflage Footprints However, when you are mudded up, the Predator can still see your footprints, but instead of showing up as red, they will now turn up as blue. It's a good thing to know in case you are chasing someone down and trying to tell the difference between them and an NPC. Revive Dead Teammates if some of your teammates die, don't despair. You can call them back to life after a small cooldown. The game will alert you to run to a radio tower in order to revive dead teammates. If you follow this path and call the radio, however many dead teammates will respawn back on the fire team and you will piss off the predator greatly. Fire Team Commands 
As a simple way of giving instructions or at least communicating without a mic, you should know that you can issue orders to your fire team by pressing up on the D-pad then using the analog stick to pick the corresponding command to say what up to whomever. Private groups are best. If you want to play and you have some buddies, it's best to make a private match. To do this, invite players to a group and then start the match. This will queue you up as a group and fill the remaining spots for whomever else is coming. And once that happens, you can pick who gets to be the Predator and the Fire Team, effectively letting you take turns as the Predator and Fire Team. This is good information to know if you know a buddy can only play a few match and, you know, he wants to get his turn done first. That's all I have for you now, folks. That's it. It felt very fast, that's what she said. But I didn't want to make it drag on, so if you enjoyed the video, kind of keep on coming back. I'm going to have videos going all week leading up to the game's release, and then after that, even more so. So subscribe up to my channel so you can get the best information that you need to have to kick ass. Thanks for watching.